What's going on, Reality Hackers? It's Michael Gustin, and I wanted to talk to you today about the lullaby method. I'm super excited about this because I am all about creating and discovering ways to enhance uh, the deepening of new beliefs when either throughout the day or when I'm going to sleep. So I wanted to read a portion of this uh, from Neville specifically, and we're going to dive in. So a most effective way to embody a desire is to assume the feeling of the wish fulfilled and then in a relaxed and sleepy state, repeat over and over again like a lullaby any short phrase which implies fulfillment of your desire, such as thank you, thank you, thank you, until the single sensation of thankfulness dominates the mind. Okay, I want to dive into this because I've been a musician my entire life. So music has always been a deep part of my being, but I began to realize early on, probably about six or seven years ago, uh, I used to take the rhythms of songs and, and the melodies of songs that I really liked, and I used to uh, move them around and play with them. And what I realized is that if I could take a song that I liked and then reword it in such a way that the wording was representative of my desire already being fulfilled, and then I actually began to sing that song the belief itself would gain uh, a lot more traction in my subconscious, so to speak, right? So think about that because certain songs that you know, certain songs that you like, that when you sing them, when you hear them, when you listen to them, you feel them and you believe them with your whole heart. It's no wonder that life imitates art, right? Because we listen to some of these songs and then ultimately our life becomes a manifestation of that song. Have you ever heard that? My life is like a song. My life is like a movie. Well, there's a reason why, right? Because ultimately when I sing a song, when I'm getting into the spirit of a song, I'm literally believing myself to be it, right? Ever watch a Britney Spears fan uh, sing a, a famous Britney Spears song, right? Or uh, somebody that is, uh, I mean, a country Perfect, man. Country music is a great, great example of this. If you think about a lot of country singers, when they're singing, man, there's so much power and belief and, and presence and like, this is what has happened. This is the reality of things. And so if you can take a song and a melody that you really like, find a way to word it so that your desire is actually already fulfilled. So what you can do is you can begin to sing this song. You can begin to hum this song. That melody attaches in your nervous system to something that's exciting, that's something that feels close to home. And then ultimately the words are imbued with the energy from the melody itself. So all of a sudden I've created a way to go throughout my day and actually get to a point where I can be singing, humming. I can even think about this melody because the reality is even thinking about a song, at least for me, uh, I can, I feel all the tonalities of it. So my homework for you is to find a song that you like, find probably one of your favorite songs of all time. Take the chorus line, take one of the most powerful lines in the song, uh, you know, that exist already, right? Take the most powerful point in the song and then take that and build your desire into it. Right. So, uh, you know, thinking about, any sort of song, right? A pop song, a rock song, a country song. I mean, you could even do a rap song. You know, I've seen so many uh, on Instagram, so many reels where people are taking existing uh, lyrics and beats and rewriting them to, to speak to abundance, right? So this is what you can do. Take one of your favorite songs, rewrite it, to ultimately reflect your desire is already being fulfilled and sing that out, right? Sing it every day, every morning, every night before you go to bed. And what you're going to find is that your belief in the reality of what you are singing will come so much quicker than trying to simply make affirmations or do vision boards of things of that nature. So if you haven't done this, give it a try, commit to it for 21 days. Okay. 21 days. If you have done it, Commit to it again for 21 days. Create a fresh affirmation here from one of the melodies of your current favorite songs. What I want you to do 21 days from now, which is going to be December 14th, right? I want you to comment on the video that we do that day. And I want you to tell me what your experiences has been. Sound good? If today's video enlightened you, if it uh, inspired you, go ahead, like, subscribe, comment want to see you, want to hear you. You are worthy. You are loved. You are amazing. We'll talk to you soon.